prevention of sudden adduction during transurethral bladder surgery. First, some context. The obturator nerve is a long nerve that has a complicated course that starts in the lumbar plexus around L2 to L4. The important part is that it gets close to the bladder wall. You can see that in this bottom image here. The obturator nerve is labeled here, and you can see it getting close to the bladder. In the above image, you can see the obturator nerve also getting close to the bladder from the side image here. This is important because during transurethral resection of the bladder, you're using electrocautery, and current from the electrocautery can stimulate the obturator nerve, triggering the patient to do a sudden adduction, also called an adductor jerk. This can cause the bladder wall to perforate if you have electrocautery right next to the inside of the bladder wall. The theory here is that if you're doing bladder surgery for cancer, you might have extra vesicle seeding of the tumor if the bladder wall perforates. There are a few ways to prevent this. You can do general anesthesia and have neuromuscular blockade, put the patient completely to sleep and paralyze them. That's one way to prevent this adductor jerk. You can also do an obturator nerve block where you're specifically injecting local anesthetic next to the obturator nerve so that it's not able to do that adductor motion. Lastly, you can use a bipolar electrocautery instead of the monopolar electrocautery, and this will minimize electrical current leakage.